Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Everslot Invasion Overview. Yet another road like. Yay! It doesn't say it is, but looking at the description, it's exactly the definition of it. Now I'm starting to think if this genre specifically is way easier to do than the other ones because there's less resources involved and you don't need to develop as much as comparing to like story driven stuff and things when you need to record the dialogues and just create the whole universe. I mean it's nice for some short play sessions but that will never be the focus on my channel. So Everslot Invasion according to the developers is an ultimate action game where using a multitude ways of combat mechanics you have to fight through the dark fantasy environment, well, that's it. <laughs> that's pretty much the premise, you just have to fight. <laughs> From the looks of it, it seems very dynamic in terms of just the mobility around the maps and physics in general. It almost feels like a sandbox scenario where you just run around killing stuff, then upgrade your weaponry and character skills to get better. And the visuals in general look pretty cool and unique. And that's pretty much it, like I guess the premises are getting more shallow and shallow with time. Kinda seems like uh, yet another release from the store though. Maybe I'm just slowly losing, not faith, but interest in those pick and play games where there's not much going on besides the pure combat of it all. Definitely looks fun to play and I trust fast travel games nowadays. Let's just see if it works for me. <laughs> A dark cloud looms on the horizon. A bitter cold blows through the desert sands, heralding the doom that will soon be upon us. Hearken, my brothers and sisters. Do not fear, for we are the clerics of the Order, forged in the fires of battle and tempered by the winds of adversity. This is the reason we are all here. Our Order shall stand as a beacon of light against the tide of darkness that threatens to consume our world once again. Let us unleash our fury upon the enemy and show them a ferocity the likes of which they have never seen. Fight! Fight tooth and bloody nail with all you have, clerics. For if we fail, our world will burn. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm fast. I mean, faster than most games. Do I have some kind of a jetpack? Okay, we're doing some Prince of Persia stuff. It's not the easiest, but there are two. <laughs> It definitely needs some practice because it's like a uh, movement. Oh my god, the drifts. Okay, it is physics based. Okay, I see. A 
can do my dual visiting fantasies. Do you see how this drift is crazy? Like, I don't know what's going on. Wait, what? Left fist to your right wrist. Ah, there's like a needle. Do I need to stash it? Like, I can just turn my hand and shoot like that. But maybe it will be too OP. There's a lot of mechanics. <laughs> It's gonna be a full-on slasher. <laughs> he killed himself. What am I seeing? It's just combat. <laughs> right? I mean, I'm a fan of slashing. Gonna be like a hit and run thing. And they're wobbly, okay. Choose your class, manage skills. Ah, I see. I don't know. I appreciate speed in games and stuff like that, though... I would think in this game melee would be very important and just... health, yeah. We'll see. We didn't do combat tutorial? Okay. I don't know. I guess veteran? It's like a whole hub. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> Gauntlet weapons? Damn. I 
I don't know. Nah, the previous one. But I still need to drop my weapon, like that's the annoying part. I don't even think I will be using it. Tutorials being a tutorial, but I just need to see the dynamic with the enemies on the stages and stuff. Oh my god. Graphics wise, it ain't half bad considering the scale. You really feel like you're in the arena. <laughs> I need to just remember all the mechanics. But what's the goal? To just clear the waves? I guess, and then we can just jump. How does it work? Okay. Ah, okay. See, the tutorial didn't tell me that. So it's just like some combat scenarios around and that's it. Okay. What did I unlock? Okay, it's a passive. It will definitely be like heavy on the locomotion side, but not necessarily for me. <laughs> Sword. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of brainless slashing. There are some stuff going on, but you don't need to do it to succeed, essentially. And because the stages are pretty big, it feels empty. Like there are physics with the hits and different damage calculators, but... Upgrades for this.
I don't know what I'm even doing, like, just for the sake of it. I can just stand here. <laughs> appreciate more this setting with blatant sorcery like a mix up in the mechanics and the dynamic this feels boring to me especially in this day and age like it works and everything's like clear what to do but still it feels lackluster even though it's like a tutorial I guess I guess that's just how I feel overall about roguelites. <laughs> so they will be spawning near me. Their attacks are too delayed. That's why I'm full HP. They have no time to like hit me. Ah, uh, it's okay. Like I'm not crazy about it, honestly. Yeah, and the progression with weapons, like I don't care honestly nowadays about it. So that's pretty much it. You select some missions, fighting them. You can do a duo, you can do it solo, however it pleases you. <laughs> Is it something that I'm curious nowadays about? Not necessarily. Like, I need to have a point or a goal to play this, like, a combat -y arena thing where you select your weapons and just fight. Like, that's the whole premise. The graphics are okay, considering the scale of the environments we are. The combat I feel like could be more interactional. Like if you have a physics based thing then maybe the swords could stop on the body not like penetrate through them. Because then you hit something but there's no recall or like a feedback from it. What essentially happens is you end up just dancing in air and that's the whole gameplay. So if you're into those kind of stuff Feel free to play this, but to me it's just average.